Red Riding Hood by Roald Dahl. A third wolf began to feel that he would like a decent meal. He went and knocked on Grandma's door, and Grandma opened it. He saw the sharp white teeth, the horrid grin, and the wolf said, May I come in? Poor Grandma was terrified. She vowed and paid me up, he cried, and she was absolutely right. He ate her up in one big bite. But Grandma was small and tough, and walked away. That's not enough. I haven't yet begun to feel that I have had a decent meal. He ran around the kitchen yelling. I've got to have a second helping. And added with a frightful leer. I'm therefore going to wait right here. The little Miss Red Riding Hood can fall from walking in the wood. He quickly put on Grandma's clothes. Of course he hadn't even those. He dressed himself in coat and hat, put on shoes, and after that he even brushed and curled his hair. Then sat himself in Grandma's chair. And came the little girl in red. She stopped. She stood. And then she said, What great big airs you have, Grandma. All the better to hear you with, the wolf replied. What great big eyes you have, Grandma, said Little Red Riding Hood. All the better to see you with, the wolf replied. He said they are watching her and smiled. He thought, I am going to eat this child. And bread with her old Grandma, going to taste like caviar. Then Little Red Riding Hood said, But Grandma, what a lovely big fur coat you have on. Huh? That's wrong, cried Wolf. Have you forgot to tell me what big teeth I've got? Uh, well, no matter what you say, I am going to eat you anyway. The small girl smiled. One eye flickers. She ripped a piece of from her knickers. Uh, she danced to the preacher's head. And bam, bam, bam. It's him big. A few weeks later, in the wood, I came across Miss Ryder Hood. But what a change! No block of red, no silly hood up in her head. She said, Hello, and do please note my lovely furry wolf and all. 